Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I'm here to do a flip through on this recipe uh, cookbook journal that I, I have been working on. I went ahead and I just kept working and working and finished it up. And so uh, here, we are, here we are. So uh, I have a little goodie pack too that I'll show you in, um, when you see this. Well, this uh, journal is already sold, so just FYI. But I wanted to show you the completed and have a record of the completed uh, recipe cookbook journal. So it was a binder, as I've been saying, that came with uh, paper and envelopes, basically, and some recipes that uh, the previous owner had written down. So let me show you uh, the top and how much I have in here. I, I did add a quite a bit more since my last video uh, pages. I had quite a bit more pages, and you can see it's starting to kind of wrap around the notebook rings there. I don't know if you can see that right here. So that's about as full as I would want to make it. Like, I probably put too many things in there, but uh, I think it. I think it's nice. I think it's fine. <laughs> so anyway, I didn't cover the insides here because uh, if the new owner wants to do that, she can. Uh, more than welcome to do that, of course, do whatever she wants because it will be hers. But uh, if it if it were me, I don't know. If it were mine, if I were to keep it, I don't know if I would add. I just, you know, kind of wanted to preserve the original binder and since it was in such good shape. If this was in bad shape, I wouldn't hesitate to uh, cover it. But since it was in good shape, I didn't cover it. But yeah, so uh, I started off the journal here with, uh, with uh, some scrapbook paper and I used this, some kitchen-y type retro looking pretty scrap double-sided scrapbook paper in here so this is the first page here where um you know i like to leave a lot of you know plenty of blank pages so the new owner can put things on like the new owner could put a, a plate right here you know like a metal plate or something in the middle if she wanted to i didn't want to cover up any of these graphics so i didn't do that but i thought about it but i didn't do it and then uh okay so the scrapbook paper and then I put uh, the dividers in here from the original uh, binder. So and then so and I decorated them a bit. So I put like I used stickers on uh, probably most of them. And then this is a little strip of uh, fabric that I had. It's pinking sheared all around on four sides, but it's just a little strip, and it looked so pretty that I thought, and it looked very retro to me. And this is a very retro looking binder. It's from 1970 is the copyright on this. And it's right here. The new owner will be able to see and remember that it's from 1970. So, and then on the back of here is where I put that. And I showed you in my video on Monday where I glued that uh, kind of tattered edge recipe on here. And then I added a piece of fabric too because as I, as I was finishing it up, it just looked kind of plain like it needed something. So I put a strip of this pretty yellow uh, fabric there and it kind of matches this color here that golden mustard kind of color and this is a postcard here so I like to put different sizes in here too a little bit so this is some uh, paper that and when you I have a few of these in here so I won't say it every time but this from a scrapbook uh, cook you know recipe scrapbook that you can buy those in uh, they come with papers and dividers and things and you make your own uh, recipe book and you know it's made to put your recipes and write your recipes anyway this piece of that paper there's a milk tap milk um, cap tab here that is sewn on and that's vintage uh, there's no digitals in here all you know originally ephemera and papers and everything so this is a recipe that I had written recipe that I had uh, in my I think this, this wasn't in the cookbook this was in my own stash and I just had pulled it out to put in here and then, and then there's a writing room on the back. I put a few pieces of this paper in here. It's kind of like ledger paper. It kind of looks like ledger paper, but it's from a uh, vintage address book. It's really neat, kind of the green color here. It gives it that ledger paper look. Here's a little sticker here. I used a couple of the retro... Oh, it wasn't a sticker. It was a cut apart. And so I used one of those here as um, a decoration. Let me get you more in the middle here. And this is a little card that I had shown you that I just love, love, love these little cards that I found. They're by Hallmark. They're just so cute. A little 
come to a kitchen shower. Isn't that neat? <laughs> and um, this might have a date on it, on it. It probably does, but it's just too small for me to see right at this moment in this light. So, but I just, I was going to glue this down somewhere or do something with it. And I thought, well, let me, uh, you know, I like to put things in the, my journals too, that besides me decorating, that, that when they get their journal, they can go through here when, you know, whoever purchases my journals and go through and do something that, you know, and have some fun putting things where they want. So I don't like to glue everything down. I like to put a lot of things in, in, in the journal and in the goodie back, pack that uh, the goodie bundle that someone can use so this is a half a page this is half a page but it's really cool how it worked out it looks like a you know this all belongs together recipe for nachos here a recipe for guacamole salad here from a chill it was actually from a children's cookbook so that is cool and this is a large i think i don't know if i have more more than one i might but this is a very large index card and on this side i put a pocket here it's a cut apart, uh, and it, it, it's uh, like banners. It looks like banners here on the bottom. This is fussy cut here, and, and then I cut straight around and decided to make that into a pocket. And then we made these uh, little journal cards or tags together here. So that's one of those. This is a card. Um, I have some food-related pl uh, playing cards. This is the peas, a peas in a pod one. <laughs> and this is the uh, some other cards I have. And this one has a turkey Thanksgiving uh, dinner on the table. So and it says feast right there. So that's what's in that pocket. Some fun goodies. And then here's another divider page. So I've got a mixer sticker on this one with two little hearts. that I added soups and sandwiches and some rickrack. And then on the back here, I showed you this on Monday. But just in case you didn't see Monday's video, this is a little uh, card from a... Uh, it's called... It's from a like a money organizing... Uh, box that I had picked up and it had these little cards in it and this is one of them, one of the many uh, and so I just I had a really retro picture here and it was just, just really cute and had lots of room here to write in or whatever somebody wants to do and I left it open behind with a little kind of card here with a tab this is baking from a recipe uh, organizer or something you know I have all these things that I've picked up through the years at thrift stores but anyways a blank on the front and back to be able to do uh, whatever glue something on there write something on there whatever somebody might want to do and then this is a piece of paper that I thought went well with a cookbook journal and has lines on the front here another page from a scrapbook uh, recipe binder this is uh, this was from this this binder, a page from it. It says beverages right there, and I put a little label here with a heart sticker. Those are two different stickers that I put together there, with a pocket here. This is a was a cutoff from my gingham uh, scrapbook paper, so I just folded it to make a little spot here for whatever gluing in, writing in. I add a little sticker here that says sugar and spice. There's another, this was a cut apart. It says this way to the kitchen, a little arrow there. And then in this pocket I have, this is one of the cards we made, tags we made together. There's always, I always try to leave writing room most of the time on my, my tags for, for writing on the back. And this is a little label. I think it was, see it's got a paper on the back. You can, um, these are vintage, so I don't know how sticky they are now, but there's paper on the back. It can peel off and stick on something. I think it's supposed to be a canning label, but, uh, yeah, I had found a few of those one day, one time a couple years ago at a thrift store. This is some more of that address book paper where I put trim on this one. This is this pretty green trim here. And then a, this was in, uh, I think this page here was in the book. There are a few of these typed written type uh, recipe pages that the previous owner had put in here and here's some pretty yellow trim on that this is actually kind of like stitch or embroidered trim very pretty recipes on both sides of that here's one of those pages uh, that were from the notebook paper that came with this bit binder original originally right here and I put a little I have some recipe uh, kind of related stamps and I put one here and on a few of the pages in here and those I had received in happy mail from someone 
And so here's an envelope. These envelopes came with this, this binder too originally, and thank goodness they were still in here. And in here I have an uh, index card made into like a, a pretty, uh, just a, there's some uh, little punch outs here, and this is actually a sticker, a 3D kind of sticker I had put on there, and I had this in my recipe collection for things I wanted to use in my recipe and cookbook journals. And here is a recipe card that um, someone can do something, the new owner can do something with, and just have some fun with. Here's another sticker, or a stamp here that says breads. Scrap of paper here with a little sticker that I had uh, that says too much of a good thing can be wonderful, and it has two little cupcakes on there. On this side there's a pocket, and here's another couple little stickers here. A mixing bowl with two, two little hearts and Rick Rack, and then we have some a recipe two two recipe cards blank, so open for whatever writing or gluing down as pockets or decorations, but uh, both very cute, very pretty. This one's apples and this one has the teapot, in a, a mug of something tea or something hot chocolate maybe, <laughs> but those are in that pocket. Yeah, I did have a lot of fun with this journal. These are two recipe cards I had and they were they were together. There's a perforation line here, so like the new owner could take this out and separate them and do whatever, but I thought, what, what a perfect page. So I just put them in here as a page, and there's lines on the front and back. Here's another divider card from, you know, this binder. Pie and uh, flower sack uh, stickers here, and a label up here with a little heart on it. Let me make sure you can see everything. Yeah. So on this side, I explained this on... Monday also, but it's uh, it was a little recipe booklet, or no, it was a restaurant booklet, I guess. It says restaurant and miscellaneous here. These were pockets, and it was a page that was folded in half. I unfolded it and glued it down here, added some ribbons in the holes where it was previously bound into its little notebook, left it open in the back for a uh, writing you know, card here from a restaurant uh, critic. A uh, little booklet that you can fill out yourself and uh, keep records of the restaurants you go to. So I'm going to add a little ribbon there in the holes to uh, be able to have like a little pull tab and a decoration here. And then added two cute little recipe cards in each of these pockets. So let's see which way they go. Very pretty and I don't see a year here, but these are definitely bitches. It's got some pretty fruit here on the front and the back. Isn't, aren't this, isn't that gorgeous? Aren't those co colors gorgeous? <laughs> I love those. Very beautiful. Okay, so more of that paper I showed you, the gingham paper. And on the back here, a pocket. Uh, I wanted to put a fabric pocket in here and I was looking around with my fabric and I remembered I had this Campbell Soup uh, fabric. Uh, so I went ahead and chose that. It's got tomatoes and the Campbell Soup Probably supposed to be tomato soup. And then here, one of the, the uh, tags we made together. And this is the little tag that we made with a piece of a shirt here with a button on it. So that's that was fun. And so more paper from the scrapbook uh, binders. Uh, here I, this stamp says soups, stews, and sauces. Uh, some hemp trim here on this address book page that I told you looks like ledger. And I explained this too. I have two of these in here where I cut a uh, di divided, or you know, it was a two pockets uh, page that you put in here, and the recipe cards go in it this way. It wouldn't fit, it was too wide, so I cut it in half, turned it, and sewed it down right here as a little flip. You can get the card at, cards out at the top, and I left the recipe card in there that it came with. It actually came with these recipe cards in the pockets. And I did sew down the side to make sure, the side that I cut, I uh, sewed down the side to make sure it was together and it would stay together. So, and then this is a little flip out here with a little tuck spot. I'm going quite a ways over, aren't I? Let me move over. <laughs> There's a little tuck spot here with a, this is a bag I made out of, I believe this gingham paper here was... Uh, I think this was sandwich paper, you know, that gingham sandwich paper you can get sometimes. Uh, I've seen it, I don't know where I got this particular one, but I've seen something like it at Dollar Tree. 
in the summer and here's a little piece from a guest check and this is a, a canning label here I made just for you I believe I got those canning labels at Dollar General uh, a couple years ago and this is a tag that I had made a while ago uh, this is double-sided scrapbook paper so it's a simple tag with uh, some baker's twine but I did put some uh, it looks like oh you know what this is this is receipt tape looks like coffee dyed receipt tape you know old receipt tape that we don't really use much anymore the re the uh, calculators with the rolls anyway I apparently coffee dyed some and glued a piece on here for room for writing so yeah I just uh, forgot about that <laughs> but if you have some of that receipt tape there you go you can use it to line your tags on the back if you need to so and you can still see through it too so you can kind of see that design that was on the other side of the scrapbook paper so that's kind of cool notebook paper here with another stamp that says desserts uh, this was a little uh, I guess this was originally from, well it says Revere Solid Copper Utensil Hangers. It was from whatever that originally and it's very old. I found it at a thrift store <laughs> and brought it home and now it is a pocket right here sewn on and sewn across the bottom too, zigzag stitched. And this is a little uh, kind of a mark, like a bookmark for a recipe book. It says recipe na name there, cookbook, page, notes. So you put it on a page where you, you made the recipe and make your notes about it. And it has a little, you know, thing here that hangs on your page. Isn't that cool? I've never, I never saw those before. I found them at the thrift store. Oh, I think I had that tucked in the pocket too. And hanging from the top there. And this is a, a very large uh, divider from like, you know, index card, kind of big index card box. And this is a divider. It's one of those large dividers. And this is a divider from this binder, cupcake, and an oven mitt. On the back is where we, we made this together on Monday. That pocket here and used it to decorate also this pretty vintage and very retro also uh, sewing pattern front. I just used the front on here. I strengthened the back of it or I put another layer on it with the instruction paper that was in this pattern so I made it twice as thick sewed it on and added a little piece here and made this put this little drawing card in here and this is a little tab here this was some tatting I had and it's uh, I used it as a little tab on here so this is a drawing card coffee time is any time and uh, yes I believe in that so <laughs> So there we go, got a little tab to grab there, some more gingham paper, the uh, address book paper, and this this one I put blue, gingham, uh, not gingham, blue rickrack, a little bit of paper with the stamp that says miscellaneous, and some more scrapbook um, paper from a scrapbook kit, you know, recipe cookbook kit. Paper with the vegetable salads and sides stamp there. Another envelope. Let's see what I put in here. Goodies. Oh, I put in this one goodies from the original that was in here. Like in this binder when I got it. So I wanted to include those recipes. So here's a few here. Just whatever notes the previous owner had left in here. Just quite a few here. You know, these are fun. I did see, I didn't do it in here, I was going to do it and then I changed my mind, but I saw someone one time take some old recipes like this, like say, look at this one, it's kind of got a rip here. I didn't make the, the tear, that's how it, it was, but she, whoever it was, I have no idea who it was, but they took pieces of recipes and maybe like tore them and made a collage on a page with the handwritten recipes and I thought it was very beautiful. That's an index card, and then here's a clip. Oh, this is from my collection of Reader's Digest, where I pulled out some pages that I thought would look nice in in uh, recipe journals. So, yeah, I put, stuck that in there, too. And that was in this envelope. I don't want to mess these up. <laughs> they came so nicely to me, I want them to go out the same way. Uh, re weekly menu planner page here. And another piece of meats. Main, meats and main dishes stamp. So scrapbook paper here with a pocket. So on this pocket I put, let me make sure you can see, right here this is actually a cross stitched piece from an actual piece of 
cross stitch that I picked up at a thrift store. I didn't make it, but it's actual stitched cross stitch. And I cut this piece to fit here on this pocket and made a kind of like belly band out of it. And in here is a little mason jar that I had made. And so just stuck that in there, a little mason jar. And then there's some note paper in here that has memo and has a coffee grinder on it and a recipe card isn't that pretty with the red and blue on it I love that and then blank on the back so those are in that pocket a label here on this divider page syrup bottle sticker and a rolling pin and then here uh oh got a little stuck here uh oh uh oh hold on well, I want to show you this, so I might have to do a repair here. <laughs> Hold on. You know what happens. It happens to everybody. Yeah, I'll have to do a little repair on this. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's not too bad there. Okay, let me get this off. Oh, I hate that. Thought it was dry, and apparently it wasn't. Yeah, that will come off. See that? Look, it peels right off of there. A little piece of paper from over here and what I'll do over here is put a sticker on there and it will be you know what I have something right here that I was going to put in here too and I forgot I was going to do it before I started the video okay so I think that's good this right here a little app daisy applique I wanted to put this in here and now I know why I didn't because it was meant to go right here <laughs> but here's a little lady here a little retro lady on this gingham paper I'll show you this in a second. Let's get this down. Yeah, I was going to glue this in here somewhere. Now I know why I didn't. Because, uh, you know, someone told me not to, apparently, in my subconscious. And there we go. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> then there, there you go. It's fixed. See? We can always fix things in our journals, can't we? So, uh, yeah, this page is fine. Everything else is fine. So this is a little a card. I wanted to put a card in here. Looked through my cards and envelopes drawer and found this one. And it's so cute. And I think I don't know if I've ever put one of these in a journal before. But I finally did. And it opens up like this. It's a shirt. And it opens up like that. And isn't that cute? And you can write in here or put a picture or something. That would be cute. Anyway. And it closes like that, just like it's like a little shirt. So super cute. That paper, let's see, I can just glue this down, but there is no glue around here. So, you know, I'm going to put a piece of something in between just to make sure. <laughs> now that that happened, you know, you think there's no glue and then, then, then stuff happens. Okay, so another page like this that I showed you before with a sewn on uh, milk bottle cap. Notebook paper with a stick, with a stamp. Need to go move a little faster here. I thought this would, wouldn't take too long, but it's taking longer than I thought. So sorry, but uh, a lot to show you, right? Scrapbook paper with a tuck spot. And in here I have a card that I decorated with some pieces there, a little collage. That's a, that's a teacup. Oh, that was in there. Uh, here I have one of my little journaling cards that I just, again, like I said, I didn't want to glue everything down, so I paper clipped on it onto this index card. And it does have writing room on the, well, no, this one is double-sided. So I was probably going to glue that down again, too, but I tried to not to glue everything down. So here on this page, a cupcake, a 3D cupcake sticker and a label on that divider. That's a divider card. And that gingham paper, recipe paper. Let's see, see how... It's, uh, it's quite full, so <laughs> I have to be careful how I turn the pages. This was a page from the original binder. I have a stamp there and a notebook. This was a plain page, but it's nicely distressed. And then notebook paper with a stamp. Scrapbook paper here with a pocket little apron sticker and this white rickrack. Here I have the guest, a guest list note paper and menu pa room on the bottom there. This recipe card where I did a little cluster, I showed you that on Monday. Uh, here's the paper bag here that I put in. This is a decorated paper bag. <clears throat> has some recipe and cookbook related things on it here. I think these were stickers and some 
uh, washi tape and in here I have something let me see I'm kind of at a weird angle that I can't see what oh here it is it's, I have a little tab out at the top here and this is just a little piece that was a cut out and I thought it would make a nice tag so I put that in there and of course the new owner can do whatever cut those little pieces out or just leave it as a tag put paper on the back to write on but that little tab sticks right at the top of the you can see that right here at the top of the paper bag and that has gussets in it so it's you can fit quite a lot in there and that's on a divide blue vintage divider card there uh, like from a you know organizer box okay so uh, divider card with some stickers got cookies this said cake, cakes pies and cookies and I put the gingerbread man and some st cookie stickers on that one since it was appropriate there <laughs> and King and paper that I already showed you. This is the other plastic, you know, sleeve with the with the recipe card. And this is a fold out here. I put a piece of notebook paper in that tuck spot. It says a cow with the word moo. I thought that was so cute whenever I found that little note paper. And uh, let's see. Uh, this is a recipe card. I just put it in here together. As a two-page thing together it's still together and then pocket here I think I showed you this on Monday uh, I'm not sure but uh, it's a little pocket here what me you know scrapbook paper I put some of the baby Rick rack there this is a little cut apart I had in with my scrapbook paper I added the buttons with sewing I put um, red embroidery floss through these buttons so it would show up on either side of this little this is actually a belly band that goes through and another little mason jar in there and yeah that came out really cute a really pretty uh, I think I got this in happy mail I only had one or two of these I don't know if I put them both in here but isn't that beautiful yeah I think I, I since I only had one or two I think I might have got this in happy mail and they're gorgeous and this is a tat I made a little like just I wanted to put this in here I thought it was a neat shape from a recipe book or something here's the holes where it was bound and I added this little gingham piece of fabric there as a decoration so that turned out cute and another envelope I need to finish here okay so we've got an index card decorated with a little cluster there and some note papers in there. This one says coffee, and this one has food related uh, little decoration there. So I love note papers when I find the right ones, you know, that relate to things that I like to make. I like to pick those up and keep those for my journals. Another, this is the third and last um, bottle cap here, a milk cap. Right there, those are all vintage, they're not reproduction or like from Tim, Tim Holtz or anything, those are actually old ones. And then this is uh, the last tabbed divider page. I found these two little buttons when I was looking around for things, and they're little carrots, aren't they cute? They had the loops on the back, and I cut them off you know, the little loops, and they're buttons because they're buttons. I cut the loop off and glued them down there as a little decoration, aren't they adorable? little carrot buttons <laughs> on the back. I have a flip out here so there's space behind there and that recipe card. Paper, gingham paper, plain paper with a stamp. This is a postcard. Some more of that address book paper that looks like ledger with some burgundy or maroon um, rickrack and notebook paper again. A journal card and some more of that scrapbook kit recipe paper. So that is the journal. I hope you enjoyed the making of it. And uh, then this is the goodie pack. Uh, I just included uh, all the rest of the recipes that were in the pockets and things in there. There are some really cute ones in here. And really neat handwritten and everything. Just whatever clippings, everything that was in there. And then the rest of what was in there is uh, was mostly some... Oh, I included from that pattern, I included the tissue here and the rest of the instructions. There was some blank notebook paper in there. I included that, lots of writing space there. And all these pages right here was uh, from some type of uh, 
like a church cookbook or something. You know, they're all typed out like this. And these are great for collaging too or making little ephemera with. So all that is going with this journal to the new owner. And I appreciate the new owner purchasing this from me. And I appreciate you all subscribing and liking and commenting and watching my videos while I made this journal. And stay tuned for my next video. I'll see you then. Have a great day and happy crafting.